Hello and welcome back to Fallout 3 with your story, Lord is Nidrally Mad. Hi, Lord of Close is Harbinger of the Spiffin and Glow 22, Boxes Mad and Good is like it is 13. And don't run here to Oh, this was not what I had in mind. But it's no issue, as you can clearly see. It's just a scorpion fest. Scorpions are to be stabbed. Did I just cut this corpse up a bit? Might have happened. Yeah, I did. Cool. And apparently that one as well. Taking the poison glands and ready for the next one. Oh, that's something else. That's this guy. Still not a real issue. Huh. Apparently this place does have an interior, which you could check out, I guess. Anything interesting here? I guess not. The trash is empty. I'm not sure what weapon is the wisest to use inside this place. Might be the sword. This looks pretty nice and as if it has nothing to worry about at all. So we could go to quantum, mentats, scrap metal, put some wrench, put a gap mine schematics, cool. Another put a gap mine. Tesla and you, pack of six, carton of six, an empty cash register, some bottle caps. Some scotch, good. Yeah, this is worth visiting. Worth visiting indeed. Indeed, Yes, good. Now back to following the road. Hmm, yeah, I've been using the ammo up on this gun pretty well. Pistol stone. So the pistol doesn't really do as much damage. What I would add, suspect that the... What should I call it? Action point usage is lower as well. But at least I hope it has more rapid fire. Than the other weapon did. Should I want to go over there and check that house out? Because it isn't that far from the road and... Wherever the road ends is where I'm going anyway, so... Oh, there it is, I think. So this is not much to worry about, I could just go in here. Get a look in. Oh, it's you again. Nope, still only four shots. And they don't do as much. Ah, at least things actually dropped and stuff I can get from this there. Always look at the bright side of things, right? Right. That's blood. And I think it's mine. Right. There's an enemy in me over in that direction. If any luck, there won't be any mines here. Uh, with even less luck, there's nothing here. Yeah, seems that's the luck we're getting. Okay, so go to shade. Our destination. Where we will deliver the naughty night fair. As we the, the goal as that is. It's the mission we've been given. What? Where? Who? What 
Was ist das nicht? Das hat der Person we're looking for, I think. Wait, who were we looking for? Wait, 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 wait. It looked to me as the Brahmin was pushing something. Okay, uh, check the data. Notes. Oh, it's volume two now. Okay, so where is it? If you're listening to this tape, then my brains are splattered all over a wall somewhere, and you've got a job to do. You need to retrieve the package and get it safely to Ronald Lauren and Gurner Shade. Your Tell them Grady cooperation you. is. Get the package. You'll need the key. Fire hose is in some maintenance closet at Marigold Metro Station. The key will unlock the safe that contains the package. Look for the room marked by a spinning light. You can't miss it. Good luck. And hopefully, they won't find you too. Still don't know whom I'm looking for. No one here? Hmm. Guess the other option is the other house. Oh, here's someone. Sierra Petrova does the name. Good to see a new face in Girder Shade. I take it you're here to check out my Nuka Cola collection and take the tour. Um, new Coca-Cola collection? Wow. I have one of the, no, the best new Coca-Cola collection in the Capital Wasteland. Heck, I've won the new Coca-Cola Fan Club Collection Award for the last 10 years in a row. There's a new Coca-Cola Fan Club? Yep, I'm the president, the recording secretary, and the treasurer. Once a year, we gather here in Girder Shade to have a cook-off using Nuka Cola and the recipe. Last year, I went with my poached roach and Nuka sauce. Delicious. How many members are in your club? Well, only two right now, me and Ronald. But membership is open to the public. You can join if you like. Who's Ronald? Ronald? Oh, I'm sorry. I figured you met him already. He usually chats with people who enter Girder Shade. He's my neighbor and my protector, as he calls it. Imagine if some nasty raider wanted to take my stuff. He'd show them a thing or two. He's such a sweetie. You should talk to him. All right. Uh, tell me more about the guy. He's a darling. Always watching out for me, and more importantly, keeping the collection safe. Like once, there were these raiders that came by. There were three of them, and their leader was named, like, Lugnut or something. Um, Sarah? So they, like, kicked in Ronald's door, and he was like, blam, with his gun, and one of them got all splattered. Then the other one tried to, like, hit him all in his head with some club. And Ronald was so cool how he dodged it and shot the guy in the face. Then the Lugnut guy was in Ronald's face with the... I'll kick your ass stuff and Ronald was like hell no and he punched the Uh Sir please I get it his stuff. Oh sorry. I get carried away sometimes. Well you should definitely talk to Ronald. I bet he'd like to meet you. He's such a sweetheart. Okay, bye. You can never have enough of the refreshing taste of Nuka Cola. <laughs> Oh, don't be such a grump. You can go if you want to, but you're missing out. Right. Where's Ronald then? I don't think he was in his his little housey place, was he? Was he? He may have been behind me. Yeah. 
No, there's no sign of the guy. Maybe he's just not at the settlement right now. Was this where the problem was supposed to be? Because the Brahmin left. Simply walked out of here. Maybe Ronald was with the Brahmin. Maybe they had enough of uh, Sarah's bullshit and just decided to go away. To leave. To take the Grand Road. Just as I did to get here. Yo, Brahmin. Have you seen Ronald? Have you seen Ronald? Are you Ronald? Please take this naughty night. You're probably not Ronald, are you? You're probably not. Where is the guy? And what does the guy want with... Wait. Just going to check one more time. If you're listening to this tape, then my brains are splattered all over a wall somewhere. And you've got a job to do. You need to retrieve the package and get it safely to Ronald Lauren and Gerter Shade. Tell him Grady sent you. To get the package, you'll need the key. I've stashed it inside an old fire hose case in some maintenance closet in Marigold Metro Station. The key... Will unlock the safe that contains the package. Look for the room marked by a spinning light. You can't miss it. Good luck. No plea, they won't find you. Certainly won't up then. But where is he? I should really just heal, shouldn't I? Yeah. Might end up being assaulted by a Uruguay or whatever they're called. <sighs> Ronald, 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 where are you? Not at the bottom of this crevice, I guess. Still best to check, you know. Where are you, Ronald? I have a package for you. It's important. So it is odd that he did not come to greet me if that was what he was supposed to do. And he is undoubtedly alive due to the fact that his bed is owned. Let's check one more time. Hmm. Maybe if he waited until trespassing hours. No sign of him. Where could he be? Let's wait until daytime again. It's just up and left and even took his... Well, he didn't even lock his key. His door. That's what I meant. Hmm. Let's see if he's been kidnapped or something. 
So you would assume though that that would not be the case. Taking how badass is supposed to be. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll continue my hunt next episode. So, see you then.